like Haunted Night, Stranger Things edition. I heard there is the dopest Stranger Things haunted house in there. So I'm gonna check it out, all 10 houses, give you my feedback, possibly get drunk, cry a little bit, and scream like a little girl. I cannot wait! This one, people cannot terrify. Terrify? Peeing themselves. Oh, this is one of the longest lines I've actually ever seen at anything, ever. Like, people are really ready to get the shit scared out of them. It's a universal monster. It is a modern take on the classic universal monster. So, Frankenstein's I'm monster. So Wolfman. Myself. That one was the right. Okay, it's back though. I have to go. It happened. It's fine. 
I actually really like this concept because I feel like this is like real life. This is what young kids would do. They would totally go to a haunted house or a graveyard or anywhere and just like social media blast it out. Real time, live feed, hashtagging it. And then you get to see also what happens to them because of it. So I'm really excited for this house. Some adults, some are actors. I thought they were all actors, yeah. and I'm like, oh my god, I don't know where yeah, to go. I think like all but one. I saw a doll. I was like, I really hope it's not a person, but it could be. It could be. It's I like really small. I went like, into my. I know. Home. I was like, I just didn't even look. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh. I couldn't even finish it. I had to hide the whole time. It is one of those really, really, really scary ones. But like from the beginning to end, it's just like, what is it, like what's its goal besides scaring the crap out of me? Well, this is one of our original creations. And with Nightingale, it's actually a character we created in 2011. And that character, the Nightingales, originally based on the Nightingales from Florence Nightingale, the helping nurse. And we turned it dark and twisted. Can you guys pause for a second? I need to get hugs. Where are you? Yeah, I've already uh, get you. We can hear what's up. Yeah. Paul is, um... Are you guys having fun? Yes! Paul is very important when it comes to the RIP and I booked him out six no, months so to a year in advance, and I actually booked him in April for these days. And I worked my schedule around his schedule because he's so popular, because he gives the best for the best tour. But, uh, so Nightingales. So Nightingales, the original creation of the story, the character that we came up with. And originally it was World War I, and these Nightingales, instead of being helpers, feed on death. Um, pain, misery, and that's where we put them originally was World War One. But these creatures were always suggested to be ancient. So in Blood Pit, we actually go back in time to ancient Roman era, and about 250 years AD, and there's a massive games going on. It hasn't rained in forever, so to appease the gods, they're throwing a massive games. And of course, that's causing a lot of blood, destruction, mayhem, and misery. I was so strong. scared. I didn't get any of that. I actually pray that this time around I'm not as scared where I can actually appreciate the storyline. I was so scared. I don't think you'll get it, but the, the creatures that are here now, they look more human in our original iteration. This one, they look more ancient, more visceral. They don't have to hide from humans because we're not as widespread as we are now. I was so scared. All right, let's you ready? It. Let's tackle it, yeah. by the end of the night. I'm trusting you to scare me. Exactly. Yeah. So up next, you've actually done this one already. A couple nights ago, you did House yeah. of a Thousand yeah. Horses. Rob's one of my favorites. Yeah. And I feel like he has the best attraction section. We're heading there. Light up. It's so authentic. Yeah. But so is the house. 
house is going to be great. So we take you right through that same movie, just like we've done with the others. We're going to run you right through the house of thousand corpses, all of the murders, all of the everything. mutilation, everything. Oh my God. All right. Ready? I'm not drunk enough. All right. Depths of Fear. Okay, this one, I did this one. You did this one last couple nights ago? Yeah. You are part of a rescue team. Okay. Being sent down to a submerged lab. Yeah, everything was like... Underwater? Yeah, you made you really get the feel that you're like underwater walking and you're like literally going depth. But yeah, so that's what it is. They found something and that's something that's virulent. And it has started to attack the crew. You were originally going in to help rescue. As you arrive, the company realizes that all is lost, and they actually need to implode the entire thing. Lives be damned, including yours. Serious. This is the one house where, lore-wise, you don't make it out. You don't make oh, it out. Oh, great! All right, you so, gonna watch my kids? No. <laughs> I gotta make so it out. From this point on, as soon as you exit, you're dead. Oh, great! Thanks, man. Rock on! Thanks, man. <laughs> It was creepy. It was creepy. And it's the one that you don't get out alive. I was scared. Is this purgatory? What are we in right now? Did you see the puppy? Then he scares a dead puppy. And I'm like, I think twice about eating sushi again. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to the R.I.P. entrance. I'm fangirling. 